So we all know getting outside, playing, running, going for a walk, playing basketball, all of those things are good for our health. But what else is good for our health? Jesus! Okay, so I said that Jesus is important for our health, right? And what does that mean, Miss Nicole? So this week, um, we all have extended spring breaks and some required social distancing due to the coronavirus um, in our world, right? And so life's been a little crazy, chaotic, um, different, maybe stressful, maybe a little scary. And um, we see people all around us just kind of panicking, right? But also it's probably stressful in your homes too because mom and dad weren't prepared for an extended spring break. So they're having to figure out what work looks like, how they can help you with your school, all kinds of stuff, right? So we're gonna do our wow, wild on Wednesdays for Jesus um, online this week. Um, because I want to still be with you and I want us to still learn and focus on ways that we can spend time with Jesus. So with that being said, um, this week would be week two of our Lent devotional titled The Walk, Five Essential Practices for Living the Christian Life. Um, and this week we are focusing on being quiet and listening Hmm, that's hard for some of us, right? We like to always be talking and moving and doing something. But this week, we're going to focus on those two things. Um, and that leads into your prayer life. So when you're praying and talking to God, you have to also have moments of quietness. Because it's in that moments of quietness where we can listen and hear what Jesus is telling us. So you may be thinking, Miss Nicole, I can't hear Jesus talk to me, right? But how do we listen to Jesus? He speaks to our heart, exactly. Um, and so that can mean lots of things. But this week we're going to focus, and here's your challenge. Challenge, You're going to focus on doing something quietly and still. And preferably outside, okay? Because outside, at least for me, um, is where I feel the most connected to God because I'm in the midst of his creation, right? Flowers are blooming. Um, there's animals and ladybugs and the sun and clouds um, and the heat on your shoulders and your face. So I want you to be outside and I'm going to challenge you to pray while you're outside um, by yourself and talk to God. Thank him for all that he gives us for keeping us safe and healthy but also ask him to um, watch over and continue to heal those who are sick with the coronavirus. Um, and just tell him everything that's on your heart. If you're worried about something, scared about something, um, someone is sick, um, anything that's on your heart, it's that's what you I want you to do. And that's what we need to do, right? And it's in that moment of quietness that I think you will feel peace in your heart and God will answer those fears and questions and worries. And um, I want you to practice listening. Deal? <laughs> okay, so some of you may want a couple ideas of what you can do when you're quiet and still outside. So Colton's going to help me. Um, one thing you can do is you can take a coloring book outside and find a good comfy spot and just color and listen to the noises outside. And um, talk to God while you color uh, and just be still. What's something else we can do outside? Um, bring your, um, toys outside. Um, from yeah. inside, outside. Yeah. You could take some toys outside and just quietly play by yourself. Because this week we want to be focusing on being alone with God. Good job. All right, so Colton had a good question. Is he going to be all alone outside? So if you have a nice, safe backyard, sure, go play outside by yourself. But we have quite a big backyard. So that might also look like Colton sitting on the trampoline 
um, and just playing with a toy for a little bit and just having some quiet time while I'm over on the other side of the yard, maybe um, in the garden. Hey kids, hey kids, if you see your parents hiding in the closet or the bathroom, leave them alone. They're trying to have their quiet time. Deal.